continuing our journey. We've made it through the VCO, and now we go into this thing. Uh, U3, it is a 12017. And uh, let's take a look at a 12017. All right, this is kind of a chip of the day. Um, Lansdale Semiconductor Incorporated, never heard of those guys, but uh, Legacy Device is a Motorola. So Motor Motorola must have stopped making this part but Lansdale continues it because people probably still want to put it into things. Um, so the one that we have is the 1217. So the difference is the, it's, so first of all, it's a prescaler. It is a frequency in, it gets divided down. So it's a divider chip. And this particular one, there's a 30, divided by 32, divided by 40, and divided by 64. This is divided by 64, and it's actually either divided by 64 or divided by 65, depending on how you have it configured, all right? These parts will operate up to 225 megahertz. I did a, 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 a little bit of a prescalar introduction when I did um, an Arduino frequency counter that I built. It would go up to one gigahertz, so this is a slower part, uh, 225 megahertz. <clears throat> Let's see here. Block diagram. Uh, the inputs, and then there's an output, which is a uh, open collector. Um, it looks like there's a dual output. I don't know if they're out of phase or whatever. Active pull-up output. Oh, maybe pin two acts as the pull-up. So if you don't want to have your own pull-up, it'll provide a pull-up for you. That's kind of strange. You can then tie pins two and three together. I don't know. Kind of strange. Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe that makes it TTL compatible or something. So anyway, uh, let's see what voltage is this part. This part is, uh, up to 6.8 volts. Uh, well, here we go. Supply voltage, four and a half to nine and a half volts. Uh, okay. So it'll run either at the eight volt level that we have or the five volt level that we have. You could choose either one for this part. Probably you choose the eight volt one. It probably works better at a higher at a higher voltage. Uh, let's see here. Uh, again, we have 225 megahertz control pin. Here we go. If the control pin is high, it divides by 64. If the control pin is low, it divides by 65. Um, so yeah, that's kind of weird. All right, so let's see how this thing, oh, okay, this is a typical application. In fact, this is the application that we have. There's a prescaler, it goes into a face lock loop, you get a loop filter, VCO, and it comes back around. So we'll get, we'll get to that later on ours, but that's what this part's meant for, and that's how it's being used. Um, so let's look down here at ours. Uh, pins two and three are tied together. So you get a basically a TTL compatible output out. It's running at five volts. I don't know if they were it ran at, oh, this part here is probably five volt part. So they ran this at five volts. So five volt supply, uh, plus and minus coming in. And uh, yeah, a lot of these high frequency parts are always AC coupled. Even when you're referencing it to ground, you can see we have a hundred picofarads of input and then the minus the negative input of it is also 100 picofarads, but to ground. So we have a, a zero to ground signal, but instead of just tying this pin to ground, you also tie it through a, a 100 picofarads. So that's a little bit unusual in RF land. It's not unusual in RF land, it's unusual in other places, but you will see it in RF, RF land and it might be unusual to you. That's the way I should say it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so we should see, uh, Pin one is a control pin, so it actually is being used. It's being oops, being driven by this pin. So pin one is being driven by this pin. So sometimes it divides by 64 and sometimes it divides by 65. Go figure. Um, and then the output is over here on TP3. So what we should do is we should hook up the oscilloscope and take a look at the input, TP2, and the output, TP3, and see if it divides. All right, I've got uh, channel one looking at test point two and channel two, looking at test point three, and we should see a division. So we have, um, this is the divided signal and that's the input signal. So we have uh, 100 and almost 120, 120 megahertz coming in. 
And then uh, coming out, we have uh, 1.86 megahertz, okay? So we have a divide by so that's, uh, that's all that circuit is doing. It's a prescaling. Uh, the next part of the circuit can't run at 120 megahertz, but it can run at two megahertz. And so we've divided it down to something we can use. Okay, well, there you go. It definitely divided, it definitely prescaled. Uh, so it is a prescaler and it's going to be used in the next part of the circuit so we have this whole top line now I understand this whole top line now of the circuit which is great um so anyway that was a uh, uh sort of a chip of the day an ml 12017 prescaler right 200 225 megahertz prescaler